Hey everybody, it's Diana, it's Monday, and this is Religion Week. So I'm just going to dive right in and start talking about religion, and hopefully this week we're going to have a super awesome discussion, and we can learn a lot about new religions and get some ideas going. So, I was actually raised Catholic. I'm not a Catholic anymore. I don't think I ever was a Catholic, but that's how I was raised. I, in 8th grade, we were supposed to get confirmed, which, if you don't know, in Catholicism, confirmation is when you say, yes, I believe in God, I want to be part of the church, yay, route team. And I didn't, because I don't believe in God, but that's okay. So I actually wrote a letter to the bishop when we were supposed to say, please let me be confirmed, and I said, please make sure I don't be confirmed. And I was not confirmed, which I guess is what I wanted, but that's how it pretty much played out. I had always had a bunch of conflicts with the church. When I was little, I pulled the beard off of one of the Santas at one of their Christmas gatherings and got in trouble for that. They have this thing called confession where you're supposed to tell the priest what's going wrong in your life, and I continuously told him I didn't believe in God. And then I wrote a letter to the bishop saying I didn't believe in God, so probably not the best choices in how to get around getting out of the church, but not part of the church anymore. Whatever suits me, because I'm an atheist, so works for me. Um, a couple reasons why I didn't believe in the church and didn't want to go that route is, first of all, don't believe in God. It's fine with me if you believe in God. I think that if you believe in God, there's a God for you. And if I don't believe in God, there's no God for me. So, hey, whatever. And the second reason I broke up from the church was because of their beliefs. Um, I don't think me and the church ever got along. I would call our relationship an arranged marriage that ended in a slightly nasty but still polite divorce. So that's how it ended. I never really agreed with a lot of their ideas and how they told us to live your life. So the Catholic Church has very outspoken tendencies. It, it's, it finds it very easy to tell people how to live and doesn't have very many problems being very conservative in that respect. They don't approve of birth control, they don't approve of homosexuality, they say their pope is never ever ever wrong. If you're Catholic and you understand the reasoning behind any of those, please tell me. I don't, but I'd love to know. I'm actually really curious about it, but those are some things that I didn't ever agree with and I couldn't ever bring myself to agree with that caused me to break up from the church. So that's my deal with that. Also, the church seemed kind of hypocritical in the whole fanciness and formality of it all. I know that actually that's been a big problem with the church throughout history. Even in history class, we talk about how the Protestants were sick of the church being so fancy and made those really simple, but that still annoys me. When I go, if I ever go to Mass still with my family and I see a guy in really fancy robes standing on a marble altar and in the middle of a really fancy church with stained glass everywhere and brand new fountains and stuff preaching about how to give your money to the poor because hoarding it is sinful and you should be generous and all that and I'm just sitting there like yeah then why are you wearing that gown because it's really fancy and then when I see videos of popes and stuff with those staff things I'm not sure what they are but they're very gilded and fancy and the chairs they sit up in the front and mass they're so fancy and I feel like they cost a lot they could give that money somewhere else just the whole idea of this with the church kind of bothers me, so I'm not trying to rant about the church, and if you are Catholic and you'd like to explain it to me, great, I would love to know. Um, I have some questions for everybody else about their religion also. First of all, how does prayer work? I really honestly would love to understand this. Do you get an answer? Do you feel an answer? Does, do you actually say it out loud? Do you not? How does, how does it help you? I don't understand. And secondly, have you doubted your religion if you're religious? How much have you doubted it? How has that impacted it? Um, when I stopped going to church and, be, and like told everyone I was an atheist, a lot of people said that, oh, you should just wait and have faith and it'll all come to you. And the thing was is that I think they were imagining that I had like holes in my belief in it and I had no belief at all. So that was really hard to do anything with because I couldn't even bring myself to start to believe in God. but. And also, what is your perception of God, or a God, or whatever spirit is out there? I don't understand what it is, per se. I don't know if that's something you can explain in a video, but if you can, that'd be awesome. I feel like that would take a lot more than a video to explain, but hey. um, So, that's my basic religious beliefs. I don't believe in God, but go great for you if you do. I'm super interested in religion still, and I'd love to discuss it. I love learning about a lot of different religions, which is great for this collab, because we have a lot of different people to discuss their religions. So, I'm Diana, this was Monday, tomorrow you'll be seeing Isabel discuss her religion, and then the rest of the week, 
So thanks for watching. Make sure rate, thumbs up, comment. I'm sure there's a lot of discussion comments you could add here. Video responses would be great too. And anything else you could add to this discussion? I know I've asked a lot of questions. I'm really curious about this. But anyway, so anything you can add? Comment, rate, subscribe, all that stuff. Thanks. So see you all next week, and you'll see everyone else throughout this week. Bye.